I've written a book. It's called Life is Grand Baby. And I think I sold it to you last time Where I was here. You, last time? Yes, you did, you bought it last time. Oh, many of us did. I know you did. Did you read it? Yes. I, got you. I have a book. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a shameless marketing plug. A book called Life is Grand Baby. Notes on performing. And in the back, there are, it's got two approaches to it. There's theories about performance and stories from the various gigs I've had in this place. It was hard to concentrate because somebody disabled making a bleating sound like a lamb is, a, I just said, it's very essential. And they're being, it comes from somewhere very deep. And artistic expression also hopefully comes from somewhere deep. So you have to steal yourself, but at the same time make yourself available. It was hard. The important lesson is ignoring certain things around you, as well as someone bleating, is when one person gets up and leaves. If somebody needs the bathroom in an audience and they get up to leave, and if I look and I see them leaving, everybody else is going to look. Mm -hmm. So the lamb situation was a really good training lesson yes. for that thing. So that's one of my little stories. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. Life is grand, that's for you. What to do when you're in a song, how to let people be personal with you in, a, in an intimate song. Uh, oh. There you go. Why do you want to touch me? I want, okay. Because you just, you, I, mean, I don't know, but you came <laughs> right from heaven, so I want to touch you. <laughs> That's fine, thank you very much. Just with a little look. Only when you see someone can you get rid of trouble. If you can't, it's like the guy who lives next door with the curtains closed. If you never get to see him, you think he's totally strange. Because when you see people, you can make a connection with them, you know who's there. This guy, he kind of made a connection with me, but I had no connection with him. I didn't know, I had not even seen him. So I was, I've learned in the past when you're involved deeply in a song, in an intimate song of a shared idea, that the spaces between the songs is a good place to talk to people and you can balance your relationship with the audience from that very intimate place to something sort of human as well, normal. What I do is I, tip, I fill it up with this stuff. Water. I fill it up with this stuff, but one has to create the illusion of having a good time. <laughs> it's part of the it's part of the entertainer's rules. I played in piano bars in Switzerland and Denmark, Klosters, St. Moritz, London. You see, it's a phase we all go through sometimes. Thinking too much, meaning too little. What we have to do in the end of the day. Just think to yourself, what does your heart want to say? The words I have to say, say may well be simple, but they're true. The book is called Life is Grand Baby Notes and Performing, and it's about an intimate performance situation with people, but at the same time, at the back. So there's the rules and the stories. Everybody has two types of life, the external life and the internal life. This is my external life and this is the internal so life. So the book has, after each story, there's a little section called Lessons Learned. And this is, you have to look at people in the room and take a pool of how people feel in the majority. If the odd person has a terrible look, it's not necessarily aimed at you, it's not necessarily how they feel. I've written a book. I told you. What's the title? The title of the book is called Life is Grand Baby. Notes on performing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Life is Grand Baby. Baby Grand, Grand Baby. It's on Amazon. Baby, I want you now. Oh, now, now, and hold on fast. Could this be the magic at last? Could it be magic? Come, come on, come now. Just because y'all have seen a lot of things don't mean there ain't nothing new to see. Well, they're giving me 20 bucks for it. It's cheaper on Amazon. <laughs> How much is the book? You know what, if you're giving me cash, give me, you give me 20 bucks? Is that too much? Because you give me 10 bucks. 10 bucks is fine. Yeah.
Yeah, you get the moolah? I'll give you autographed copies as well. All right. All right. I need names. It's a book. I've written a book. Yeah, I've written a book. It's on Amazon. You can buy it on Amazon or you can buy a copy of me here today. Thank you very, very, very much. What's your name? Carol Sue. C A R Y L. Carol Sue. Yeah? Somebody needs to take my picture. To Judy? Paul. 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 Paul's good old Tosh. Toshner. Eeny, meeny, maca, raca, cheeky, lola, lola, pop, a rum, tum, Toshner. Oh, that. Okay, we want another book. He's going to lend her money to buy a Thank you very, very much. On Amazon, you can see my book. I wrote a book. It's called Life is Grand Baby. Life is Grand Baby. Com is the website. And my book is called Life is Grand Baby. And it's all the stories from all the gigs I played all over the world. Switzerland. <laughs> my name is Paul. My name is Paul and my website is called lifeisgrandbaby.com. Life grand yeah, that's the executive of Brightview down here. That's Miss Sylvia right there. Miss Sylvia? That's Miss Sylvia. I'm going to give you a present when I leave and you can share it with all your friends. I've written a book and it's on Amazon. And Miss Sylvia is going to have it and she can share out amongst everybody. Look at that. There you go. Woo. Yes, I give you my book. That's the one. That's nice to know. Thanks so much. Ah. <laughs> I know you're Sylvia. You're Miss Sylvia. You're an artist in your own right. You don't remind me of anybody now but, but Paul no, you Tosh. Said you said that. Seriously?